Hi, I'm systems engineer Jason Green, and in this video tutorial, we'll talk about how you can manage your Windows updates on workstations that have DeepFreeze installed on them. Uh, basically, there are three ways to facilitate the uh, installation of Windows updates uh, on a DeepFreeze workstation. Two of them are configured within the initial configuration administrator, uh, which are the files and settings that are embedded directly in your installation file. And the third is through the console itself. So let's start with the um, automated uh, workstation tasks that we can configure to uh, ensure that Windows updates are successfully applied to your Deep Freeze workstations. So on the third tab in, in the configuration administrator, uh, where we select our workstation tasks, by default, the very first task that is highlighted and selected is Windows Update. Uh, if we click the Add button, we'll get a number of um, uh, configuration options for the task itself, including uh, the ability to uh, provide a name for the task, decide when the task will run, and we have the standard options, which are uh, uh, individual days, daily, uh, weekends, or weekdays. Uh, in this case, we'll perhaps select Wednesday, and the time that we want the task to start. Uh, let's start it at Wednesday at 9 p.m. And one of the changes we've recently made uh, in Deep Freeze as of version 7.51 is the ability to, um, well, really the ability to avoid having to define a specific window during which we want and expect the task to be uh, completed. So uh, instead of uh, having to define a window, we can simply select an option that says, I want this task to run until the Windows update completes. And Deep Freeze will actually monitor the process of uh, Windows updates, and when it detects that the process has been completed fully, including all of the necessary uh, restarts, um, Deep Freeze will then restart the system back frozen. We have a few different options uh, down here, uh, including the ability to shut down after the task instead of restarting, uh, and by default we disable the keyboard and mouse, and this just provides an added level of security to ensure that no one approaches the workstation while it's performing the task and, and messes around with it. We'll click on OK here and what you'll notice is actually as soon as we confirm that uh, the task has been added, we're taken to the th uh, fourth tab in uh, on the configuration administrator and this allows us to configure some additional settings related to how we want Windows updates to take place. So um, the very first setting up towards the top is the ability to either not cache Windows updates or cache Windows updates. and uh, the caching of Windows updates was also added in Deep Freeze 7.51. Uh, <clears throat> traditionally, we haven't prov uh, provided the option to cache, and what that basically meant is when a, a Windows update task triggered, uh, everything would be managed during that period. So the system would restart unprotected, it would then go out and retrieve the updates from wherever we wanted the updates to be retrieved from, it would install the updates, and then it would restart uh, or shut the system down. <clears throat> Uh, this posed some problems uh, when, of course, we had multiple workstations all performing the task at the same time, and bandwidth was perhaps a, a, a problem or a consideration. With 7.51, we've added the ability to cache Windows updates, and what this basically means is that Deep Freeze workstations will retrieve Windows updates as they become available and store them in a 2 gigabyte thaw space that we'll create. Um, and when the Windows Update task finally triggers, the updates will be installed locally rather than having to go out and, and retrieve them at that point in time. Uh, down towards the bottom, we have a second configuration option related to Windows Updates, and that's where do we want the Windows Updates to be downloaded from? The public Windows Update server, or uh, do we have an internal WSUS server or SUS server? Uh, and if we do, we can specify the location and, of course, the target ID in the case of a WSUS server. Um, and so basically that's, uh, you know, the very first uh, option uh, and certainly the easiest, most hands-off uh, approach to facilitating Windows updates on your Deep Freeze workstations. Uh, the second option is kind of the same, um, not really kind of the same, but it's, it's uh, configured in the same area. But in this case, instead of configuring a Windows update task, what we'll actually do is just create a thawed period task. And what the thawed period task allows us to do is leverage a third-party tool uh, to deploy Windows updates to the workstation. So uh, perhaps we have uh, SCCM managing our Windows updates or Dell Case, Altiris, a third-party DMS. Uh, the thawed period task allows us to say, okay, I know that this task takes place 
on Tuesday nights uh, at 9 p.m. And generally the task uh, takes about six hours to run. So I'll uh, set this to end at 3 a.m. And you'll notice in this case, we don't have the ability to detect the process. We actually have to define a window. What this will do is uh, shut down and restart the system into a thawed or unprotected state at Tuesday at 9. And it'll just sit there in a thawed state um, waiting for updates, uh, patches, software to be deployed to it. So you could have your Windows updates deployed out or pushed to the workstation at this time. The Windows Update tab still comes into play uh, because we can still allow Deep Freeze to manage Windows Updates. So even though we're utilizing a third-party tool to define when it takes place, um, if we want Deep Freeze to uh, cache Windows Updates or not cache Windows Updates, um, we can configure all of this uh, information here. If we just want the third-party DMS to manage the whole uh, process beginning to end with the exception of the, um, uh, the automated uh, task to put the workstation into a thawed state, we'll just uncheck the option on the Windows Update uh, tab and then that third-party DMS will manage the process beginning to end. I'm just going to close out of the configuration administrator here. <clears throat> And finally, the last uh, option that we have built directly into Deep Freeze is to initiate Windows updates directly from the Enterprise Console itself. And you'll see here, I have uh, a workstation uh, called SE Demo Win 7, and the status is currently frozen. Now, um, if I don't have a Windows update task already configured, or perhaps I, I have a need to initiate a Windows update task immediately, I can do it directly from the console. And I can do this on an individual workstation or if I had a number of workstations reporting in, I could select them all and initiate this task. And if I right click on the workstation and select run Windows update, um, we get a dialog box here indicating that the Windows update will be performed using the existing settings on the workstation. So that's what we've configured in the configuration administrator. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and the nice thing is that this uh, task will actually restart the system automatically into a thawed state. It'll run the Windows Update task and then it'll restart the system back into a frozen state. So I won't bother initiating the task right now, but uh, those are the three um, primary ways to facilitate the management of Windows Updates on a Deep Freeze workstation.